Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am back today with a Poundland haul but it's a Poundland haul with a bit of a difference because everything that I'm going to be sharing with you is things that I've bought over the years that I really recommend. So things that you could add to your shopping list if you're heading to Poundland anytime soon or even any other bargain store and just things that I thought would be worth sharing in case you see them in the coming weeks and months because often things in Poundland as well are kind of seasonal, aren't they? So they're not always in stock. So they're things that you could maybe add to your list to keep an eye out as and when you're shopping. So before we jump into this, oh, I'm also gonna show you a couple of my favorite Poundland DIYs as well. I still have and still absolutely love. So before we jump into this, I'm gonna have a quick sip of my tea. I've got a pucker, pucker tea bag on the go. It is a revitalize and we'll have a quick sip and get into it. Mm -hmm. Right then, where shall we begin? I've gathered a few things from around the home. Let's start with some storage things because Poundland is brilliant when it comes to storage items. They've got quite a lot in store around this time of year with people doing spring cleans and you know new year home refreshes and that sort of thing. And these things are great. And I think these might be one or two pounds in store. These are fridge organisers, so they come in different sizes and these are really handy for organising things in the fridge but also organising things around the home as well. So I really recommend looking out for these if you're looking to get a bit more organised in your cupboards, in your fridges, all that sort of thing. But do measure your fridge first or your cupboard or wherever it is that you need these containers just to make sure they fit properly. So there's nothing worse than buying some storage and then you go to like close the door and it doesn't quite close. But they also some basket type containers too so these can be really handy as well and they've got all sorts of different ones in store they've also got plastic ones as well that I've used and they're nice and sturdy so look out for those ones and also the metal ones are great as well because again they're nice and sturdy and you can see exactly what's inside them I'm actually using one to hold a few of the bits that I'm going to be showing you I use it to kind of collect everything into there so the next thing that I really recommend in Poundland that you see normally as we go into the summer is these kind of plastic um, picnic items. So things like these jugs. This jug was just one pound and this has been so handy for so many different things. It's great for transporting water around. So if you are looking to just water your plants and house plants and that sort of thing. But if you are looking to make a big drink of something, of course, really handy for that too. And often around summertime especially, these sort of things can be quite hard to come by. I think they tend to sell out quite quickly and I really liked the design of this one. I really like the kind of grey smoky glass on this. So yeah, I just thought nice and simple and one that I have used and used and used and used and it's, it's quite robust. It's worked really nicely. So they also have these around summertime too. They've come back for the past few years and I definitely recommend getting some of these if you want to do some outdoor eating but actually even for indoors as well these can be really handy these are these kind of melamine plates and so they've got a really nice kind of grayish color to them and so you get the round ones and then they also do these ones too which are kind of like a tray shape and these ones can be really handy for obviously putting different things on you could carry a few cups of tea on one of these but they're also good to actually put plant pots on as well if you want something for kind of water to drip through and onto they can be really handy for that so do look out for those as we go into summer if that's your sort of thing and then this is a random one okay <laughs> but it has been so handy since i got it some of you might have been here since the poundland hall where i first bought this it looks like i'm pinching my nose doesn't it um but this is a picker or like a litter picker i'm not sure what you call it exactly um often you'll spot these in the diy section slightly random i know but honestly it has been so helpful little jobs that you might want to do with this is get a sock from behind the radiator and retrieve it. You might want to get something from under your sofa. You might want to reach up to grab something that's got stuck up a tree, for example. You also might want to use it for DIY situations. So when we were doing the loft extension, this was actually really handy in terms of sometimes reaching some things that had fallen down with from the scaffolding or onto the roof or into the guttering and that kind of thing. So lots of uses for this. It's kind of like a picker and a retriever at the same time. So if you see these, I think they were just one pound. It's been nice and sturdy and very, very 
handy. So yeah, look out for that <laughs> if you think it might be handy for you too. And then I always buy some basics in Poundland. So the sort of things that I'll often pick up in there are my toothpaste. So I go for the Oral-B. Usually this is just a pound, which is great and tried and tested, really good toothpaste. Nothing more to say about that. I also always use the deodorant that Poundland have in store, which is the Shaw 48 Hour Protect Roll-On. It's a nice staple, and for one pound, it's cheaper than picking it up from other places, such as the kind of pharmacies and that sort of thing. So moving on to some homeware. So they do really nice homeware in Poundland, and some of the things I've bought over the years include these sort of planters, these plant pots, and these will often pop up in their kind of home range, in the Pep & Co range, and I just think they're really nice. I bought some larger kind of concrete style ones in there as well, which were brilliant, and yeah, they've just lasted really well, and I feel like they're quite timeless in their design. So if you see these, I think these ones were two pounds maybe? One or two pounds, I think they were two, or two or three, I can't remember, the prices do vary in there now, don't they? But um, yeah, I'm just wondering, this guy might need a little bit of TLC, actually. I think his soil could do with topping up a little bit. He's looking a little bit lopsided, so I'll get onto that. But yeah, they do some lovely homeware in store too. And they also have some good technology in there now. So Poundland very kindly sent me a few of the bits from their new kind of technology range. And one of the things was this lamp, which is a LED kind of lamp and it will plug in via the USB and it has a really nice kind of white light but you can also warm it up a bit so it's just a little touch button there and it will just plug into your laptop or your computer oops <laughs> as he bashes it into his head and it's really handy on the desk I can't remember the price of this I think it might be 10 pounds but I noticed also in store that they sell the wireless keyboards and wireless mouses and that sort of thing for a reasonable price. So if you do have kind of like a Mac or something like that and you're looking for that Bluetooth connection, it might be a good place for you to have a little look at some of their kind of technology bits because the prices seem really reasonable. And this feels good quality. It's nice and sturdy, it swivels round. It's just a really handy thing to have at the desk. We can put it upright like that too. Very nice, love that. And it folds down flat as well so you could pop it away in a drawer if you wanted to. Now talking of the desk, they do some good stationery in store. And one thing that I have bought lots of times over the years is these things to do pad. So this is by a brand called New. It says New Vibe. <laughs> and those are great. And they're usually one pound in store whenever I've bought one of those. So they're good. And they also do some really handy files as well. So one of the files that I love is the, this kind, which is just the kind of plastic, and then it has the different compartments. So I used this one when I was traveling um, to put various documents in that I needed for the airport and a few things that I needed to read through. But it's just a really nice way to organize them. And if you get the label maker onto the front, and yeah, just label it up and you'd be good to go. They also do these other ones, which are really handy too, for kind of around the house. And it's kind of like these display ones. And these ones just have the clear pockets in. So if you have any important documents that you want to access and read and just be able to flick through the, um, the clear sort of sheets, it's really nice to be able to keep them all in one place that way. And again, you could get the label maker on the front or just stick a piece of paper on the front and write on exactly what's in there to help you get nice and organized. So definitely recommend them for those sort of stationary bits because they often work out quite a bit cheaper when you buy them in there or other bargain stores. And then on to a couple of bits of random. <laughs> I always pick up scissors in Poundland. I find it a good place to buy them. And sometimes they have some different sizes of scissors, which can be very handy. I think these ones were described as fabric scissors, if I remember correctly. But they're kind of very small and pointy, very handy. And that's one of those kind of day-to-day -day things that I'll often pick up there, along with things like parcel tape, along with things like batteries as well, and matches too. The long matches in there, I think, are really nice. And what I'll do with these is take them out and display them in a jar. And I've done a DIY in the past actually where you can take this striker piece off the box and then you can glue that onto the jar and then add the matches into it. And that can be really handy as well. 
So yeah, definitely um, need matches. They sell lighters in there as well. So I'm just thinking maybe you can create a shopping list as I'm talking you through <laughs> these favorites. Hopefully this will be helpful to you. But yeah, lots of stuff that I buy in there really is handy for the home and it does last as well. So that's what I wanna to say too. It kind of, it stands the test of time. Lots of these things I've just been using over and over again and they've been really handy around the home. So the other basket is now empty. I've shown you everything in that. And the last things I wanted to share with you was a couple of DIYs that I still have, still love, and also show you one of their mirrors. They've got some really good mirrors in store. Now this one was only a pound, and they kind of come in and out of store, so sometimes you'll see a design and then you won't see it for a while again. But this one I really like. It's kind of got this old school texture on it. It reminds me of kind of like the um, old school wallpaper that you used to be able to get. And yeah, for one pound, I thought that was fab. And then they also, have some in store at the moment. They're kind of like a window design and they're 10 pounds, but they're a great big kind of window design in black, I think it was, and those were really nice. But onto the two DIYs, I've got a few around the home, of course, but two that are kind of old favorites and have been in the home for a long time now is this one. You may remember this. Um, this was one of my first pound and DIYs. So I did this with a mirror that was in store that was one pound and I added a load of what are these things called? Kind of barbecue skewers onto it and just came up with this kind of starburst um, design and then sprayed it all, of course. So just taped off the mirror part and sprayed all the sticks. I just hot glued them on the back, but I still love this. And yeah, when I paint one of the walls, maybe upstairs, I'm thinking a dark color, that would kind of be set off really nicely. And did you spy the other one in the background here? So we have this vase which I did in another DIY video. I'll link the videos in the description box. I've got a whole playlist of Poundland DIYs. So if you fancy making some things and getting crafty with items from Poundland or from a bargain store near to you, you can have a go at some of these. But this one I made just by spraying one of their vases and I thought it came out really nice. And it's just got some kind of artificial foliage in it at the moment, but the shape of it was really cool. So I just used a couple of different spray paints on there. I used like a gray, undercoat and then went on with some texture as well and yeah I was really pleased with with how that came out. So that brings me to the end of kind of my Poundland favourites. <laughs> so let me know if you have any of these items in your home. Do you um, have any of these things that you use all the time or are there any things that I missed out as well that you've got from Poundland or a bargain store that have been really helpful to you? Or what are your regular things that you'll always pick up when you do head there? I would love to know those in the comments down below. But if you found this video useful and if you enjoyed it, do give it a little thumbs up and don't forget to click subscribe if you're new here for new videos every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.